Good evening. Welcome to the Redevelopment Agency meeting for December 14th, 2021. Items listed on the agenda may be taken out of order. Two or more agenda items for consideration may be combined, and any item on the agenda may be removed or related discussion may be delayed at any time. This meeting is also being conducted in accordance with Directives from Governor Sisolak requiring face coverings for all those in attendance, whether you've been vaccinated or not. I'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Uh, we do have confirmation of the posting of this agenda as appropriate. Uh, the board members, with the exception of member Sherry Jorgensen, are present in chambers. We'll begin with the first public comment period. Anyone wishing to speak during this public comment period? We'll have up to five minutes to do so. Any comments must be directed to items on the agenda. Is there anyone in chambers that would like to speak during the first public comment period? All right, we will open the phone line. Uh, anyone wishing to call in for the initial public comment period for the redevelopment agency meeting, the phone number is This is the initial public comment period for the redevelopment agency meeting. Anyone wishing to call in, the phone number is 702-589-9629. Madam City Clerk, were there any emails received for the initial public comment period? No comments were received. Thank you. All right, hearing no one, we will close the initial public comment period. Move to item number one for possible action, approval of minutes for the September 14th, 2021 RDA meeting. Any questions or comments regarding the minutes from that meeting? Anyone wishing to make a motion? I move to approve the minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That motion passes unanimously. Item number two, resolution number 236, a resolution of the redevelopment agency regarding the Los Positas Shopping Center. Mr. Tedder. Yes, uh, Rafi Festechin, our city's economic development coordinator, will be handling the staff report. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Chairman and Agency Board members. Again, for the record, Rafi Festuchin, City's Economic Development Coordinator. The City of Boulder City's Redevelopment Agency has been established to assist businesses and property owners 
interested in, prop in projects aimed at revitalizing property within the redevelopment area boundary limits. It's a grant in which up to 30% max of $99,900 of the total project costs of eligible improvements can be reimbursed. Kenneth Marcus from Los Posados Shopping Center LLC purchased the property located at 802 Buchanan Boulevard in June of 2020. Mr. Marcus is seeking RDA funding in order to make exterior related improvements to the property. The center consists of tenants such as Anytime Fitness, Boulder Pit Stop, and Toto's Mexican Restaurant, to just name a few. The property parcel encompasses the retail stores to the left side and across the 99 cent stores as highlighted in the packet. Mr. Marcus is proposing to invest $96,520 for el eligible RDA improvements, the removal and replacement of the cracked asphalt parking lot, along with restriping the parking stalls. Los Posados Shopping Center LLC would be eligible for up to 30% reimbursement of funds through the city's RDA grant program. Based on eligible expenses, he could receive up to $28,956 in reimbursement. The RDA budget is $180,000 for this fiscal year. To date, two grants have been approved, totaling $22,914. If the RDA agency recommends approval of the RDA project under consideration this evening, $128,130 would remain available this fiscal year for other projects. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions or comments regarding this item? Anyone wishing to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 236. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. We'll move to the next item, resolution number 237, regarding property located at 524 Nevada Way. Thank you. Tap Water Management Group, LLC. Members Larry and Grant Turner previously applied for RDA funding through the Historic Preservation Grant Program in order to make improvements to their property located at 524 Nevada Way. At the September 14th Redevelopment Agency meeting, the agency approved resolution number 234, approving a total of $99,900 for the project based on the following conditions. Number one, the parapet not be raised or altered. Number two, the windows be a clear plane and not glazed and not be obstructed, obstructed, excuse me, from the exterior of the building. Number three, the stucco arches be maintained and not altered. And number four, the new door being installed be made of similar material, color, and design. The owners are requesting a modification to resolution number 234 to amend condition number four and replacing it as such. The existing door will remain as a decorative feature and the owner shall construct a new glass door seven feet in front of the entrance on the right north side of the building front to resemble the original window. The new proposed elevation renderings are included in tonight's packet. Staff provided the applicants proposed changes to Ms. Courtney Mooney a historic preservation consultant from North Wind Resource Consulting for review. Ms. Mooney's evaluation of the proposed facade changes dated November 10th is included in tonight's packet. Ms. Mooney states that the proposed changes would not radically change, obscure, or destroy character-defining features and historic materials and meets the standards. As a result, the building would continue to contribute to the historic district. Tonight's 
consideration only affects the conditions and not the grant award. I'll be happy to answer any question the agency board may have. Thank you. Thank you. Questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Member Bridges? Yes, thank you. I just wanted to thank Mr. Turner, uh, you and Grant for bringing this back and fixing what, what appeared to be probably one of the most contentious part of this. So um, I was excited to see that there was a solution that would bring this back into compliance as a contributing uh, facility. Thank you. Anyone else? Um, again, I, I also uh, appreciate the fact that a uh, resolution of this looks to be uh, being done to keep this as a contributing building in the historic district. Uh, on pages 44 and 45 of the packet, it's showing those uh, elevations of the front, and there's a reference on both of those drawings to new parapet. I'm just curious as to why that is. The, this is uh, dated 11-29-21. Uh, yeah, that's um, going to be towards the back top of the building. It's basically capping off the, the, the wall. Um, there's already two existing walls, and it's basically just going to cap, cap it so that you can't see some of the material. But there's no signage going to be uh, installed on that, and it's really not going to really be visible from the street. Uh, Ms. Moody stated that there is no impact. Okay, so what we're looking at then is not the front, but the rear elevation but where it shows new parapet. It, it's the front, but it's kind of in the middle of the building and kind of not really visible, I'm going to say, from the street. Okay. Um, was the Preservation Committee, uh, did they review this and provide any guidance? Uh, it, from, it was discussed at uh, the last Historic Preservation Committee. Okay, I, I didn't see a reference to it in the packet that they had reviewed this. I think it was more just a, of, a, of a discussion. Um, okay. Anyone else? Anyone wishing to make a motion on this? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Fiduction. Move to our last item then, public comment. Anyone wishing to speak during this public comment period will also have up to five minutes to speak. They may speak on any subject. As always, we ask people to be civil and concise. Is there anyone in chambers that would wish to speak during the final public comment period? All right, we will take calls. The, again, this is the final public comment period for the Redevelopment Agency meeting. Anyone wishing to call in, the number is This is the final public comment period for the Redevelopment Agency meeting. Anyone wishing to call in, the phone number is 702-589-9629.
Madam City Clerk, were there any emailed comments received? No comments were received. Thank you. Hearing no one for final public comment then, we will close the comment period and we are adjourned. Thank you.